We know, or we think we know, that Pol Pot is dead. My good friends and strong competitors at Nightline, ABC Nightline, gave us an exclusive glimpse into Pol Pot's purported trial in Cambodia. I would never want to be born Cambodian again. I was so angry. He was still angry yesterday when we showed him the tapes of Pol Pot's trial. It looks like the old version of Pol Pot from the 19 years ago that I saw. I, I, I'm still, is this really him? He does look a lot less cruel than what I think he is. He doesn't look like a killer. I was unable to forget. Sometimes I have to spend one night to just think about that and enjoy crying. Enjoy crying because it's only crying that make me feel good, make me feel better. This is, not, this is not a movie, it was a real story. Not many people that have lost all their children and wife and who have escaped from the real killing field like me. Nightline anchor and managing editor and one of the finest American reporters of this and any other generation, Ted Koppel, is here to accept the Peabody. Congratulations, Ted. Those of you who've read your line of notes will have seen the name of Nate Thayer in there. Nate is a frequent writer for the Far Eastern Economic Review, frequently works as an independent journalist, and he was the one who made it into the jungles of northern Cambodia to acquire the video together with the cameraman that you saw of Pol Pot. Nate has chosen not to accept this award because he has some profound differences with ABC News, with Nightline, with me. I'm sorry about that, genuinely sorry. I disagree with the reasons for his disagreement, but that's for another, another time and another place. Nate has in many ways been living his own heart of darkness in Cambodia for more than a decade now. And while he rejects the award, I don't want to reject the enormous contribution that he made to bringing the world this story. Not so much because I believe he should be obliged to accept accolades that he doesn't want, but because the, important of, the importance of stories like this transcends simply a television program or a still picture or a magazine story. The importance of stories like this is that perhaps it will cause us to prevent the events for which Pol Pot was responsible from ever happening again. Although I must say, as I look now at Kosovo and the Congo and Nigeria and Indonesia, you have to wonder whether any television program is up to it. But I thank you nevertheless. Congratulations, Ted.